Hi everybody, welcome back. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, before I get into that, I wanted to um, let you know that tomorrow I'll be drawing two names for the cookbooks because very shortly, pretty soon, we're going to be starting the Try to Cook With Me Thursdays. And uh, I don't, and to be more clear on that, I don't cook. So I don't know how much anybody's going to learn. You might learn how not to make mistakes. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I just want to let you know that I'll be drawing two names tomorrow for the cookbooks. Okay, now I'm going to get into my Dollar Tree haul. All right, where should I begin? First, I want to show you. I found these cat nail files, and they had three kinds, but I'm going to tell you something about these. So I got this one here. These are so adorable. That one there. And I got this one here. Okay. I found these cat nail files with the makeup. Yes, with all the lipsticks and the makeup and the nail polishes. That's where they were. So I'm thinking, are they just calling it? Is it a regular nail file and they're just calling it a cat nail file because there's cats on it? Or do you use it for cats' nails? I'm going to open one up. I want to keep this one. I, lo I love this one. That's my favorite one. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to see how rough it is, actually. There's no instructions on the back of anything. It just says cat nail file. But like I said, they had this with the nail polish, guys. Yeah, and I don't know if other people are finding them with the, with the cat, you know, toys or what's going on. I don't know. But, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's very rough. Very, very rough. I'm going to try it on my nails. Hold on. You know what, guys? Come on now. You can use this on your nails. You can. You got the little ear to go like that, right? I mean, and it's it's kind of it's not bad. It's kind of smooth. I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody know? Does anybody know for real what are these for a cat? Are these for us humans? I don't know. But anyway, I'm using it on my fingers, my fingernail, and it's working. It is rough. It's very, very rough, though. So, I don't know. I don't know. But that's where my store had them. So, if you go to the Attleboro store and you're looking for the cat nail files, they're not with the cat stuff. They're with the nail polishes. So, yeah, <laughs> be on the lookout for that. But I just tried it, and I don't know. I really don't. Okay, the next thing that I found was um, this pencil sharpener, and it's of the sloth eating an ice cream. It's so cute, and it says, chill out. How flipping cute is that? And it's a, it's a pencil sharpener right there, you can see. But I just thought that was so cute. So cute. And it says, collect all four. And, um, yeah, they have the unicorn and then these other things that I'm not even going to say what they are because I don't know. So anyway, I got that. I picked up two of the Toy Story 4 blind bags. And it says, look for me, surprise inside. So there you go. I picked up two of the Toy Story 4 blind bags. Okay, then I got one um, dish towel, and it says, looking sharp with the cactus. I thought that was cute, and it's 100% polyester, so it's not microfiber. It doesn't, it doesn't stick to my fingers at all, because it's all polyester. 
I don't use them for that. I just use them for decoration anyway. But yeah, it doesn't have that that feeling. Yeah, I got it. Ugh, yeah, doesn't have that. Okay, then I found a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt. And this is, um, it says heavy HD, heavy duty, I guess. But I got it in this pretty color blue. I got a size medium. And let's see, does, and it says the ladies T. And guys, when it has that little sticker there, I always pull it back to make sure there's not a hole that they're covering up. Because on a lot of seconds or whatever, sometimes they'll do that. They'll put a little tag over the hole. But sometimes they'll give you a little arrow to, to warn you that something's under there. So, but there's no holes. And for a dollar, yeah, why not, right? Okay. Then I picked up these Imperial Nuts. This is the Power Blend. These are salted walnuts, salted shell pistachios, salted peanuts, filberts, and almonds. And I like them all. I, I love nuts. Yeah, I love nuts. <sighs> okay, so I picked that up. This is a... 2.75 ounce bag of, of nuts. I picked up these David pumpkin seeds. I told you. These are all natural. I love pumpkin seeds. I haven't had pumpkin seeds in a long time. And uh, this is two ounce bag. And these are best till I can't even see. 2020 October these are good till October 2020 and these were I don't know I, you know that's funny I don't even know I'm sure it's on here somewhere oh here it is and this is good until October of 2021 on these so that's good then I found this a1 steak sauce this is five ounce this is a pretty big um bottle of the A1. I like the Heinz 57, but I like this one too. And this I put like, um, well, I used to put it in like hamburger, you know, to make it more tastier, I guess. But my kids didn't like it when I did that. That's just, yeah, me experimenting as always. I always exper experimented when I was cooking and the kids just wanted normal stuff, and I, I made stuff out of a cookbook. I, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track here. This is La Choy soy sauce. This is a 10 fluid ounce. So, yeah. And this is good until, I thought I saw it where it says 2022, somewhere around there. Let's see, it's on the top here. Yeah, 2022. That's how long this is good for. Probably because it's full of sodium. Sodium, oh yeah. Whew, oh my gosh. Sodium, 1,250 milligrams of sodium in one tablespoon. Yeah. So if you can't have salt. Anyway, there it is. Lichoy. Okay. I picked up a Coffee Mate, the original in the six ounce. I just keep this on hand because this uh, has a good shelf life also. This is good until 2021, August. So I keep that just in case I run out of milk and I want coffee, I'll just pour it in. And sometimes if I want like a really, really hot coffee, I won't put milk in it. I'll use this and it keeps the coffee hot. It doesn't cool it down like milk does. Okay, what else did I got? Did I got? Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I got these Red Bird Peppermint Candy Puffs. I haven't had these in like forever. And they're with pure cane sugar. I really don't have much, you know, I don't use sugar a lot. Let's see how much sugar is in this. 30 grams in six pieces. Well, anyway, I don't put sugar in my coffee. 
The only sugar I get is from all the sweets that I eat. And I figure that's enough sugar. But anyway, I like these. So I got those. I found these peanuts. Chipotle planters. And they're six ounces. So I got the chipotle flavored peanuts. See how those are. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, one more food thing. And then we'll move on. And then I got the Oreo most, most stuff. You get four cookies, but look at the inside of those. Those are, that's like a lot of cream in here. So I picked up those. All right. Next thing that I found was the 35 sheets of rainbow assortment tissue, tissue paper, and you get all of these colors in there as you can see really really pretty oh pretty 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 colors it's much prettier if you can see it on the inside i don't know if you can but anyway these colors on the outside don't give these colors justice on the inside because they're really richer there you go so i picked up that 35 for a dollar that's not bad okay I picked up a pair of these safety goggles from Tool Bench. These are good to have, and they go all the way around. Covers the sides. Yeah, guys, this is going in my emergency um, kit, which I'm going to show you one day. What, what the heck is in all of that? Um, let's see, what else did I get? Found more candles. These are in the tins. And this one is ice cream, and these are soy candles. And you can see it has the ice cream all the way around it. It's one wick, and it's white inside. Oh, oh it smells so sweet, so sweet. It smells really, really good. So that's the ice cream. Then they had the cupcake. And there you go, cupcakes all around. So pretty these are. Mmm, that smells good. That smells good too. Yeah. So that was in the cupcake. They had the, um, oh, what do you call it, macaroon. But I didn't really care for that scent too much. Don't know why. It just didn't hit me. But anyway, then I got the one in the donut. So let so you know the macaroon is out there. You might like the scent of that, but these are the the ones that I like the scent of. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys! This smells just like a donut, just like it. You know how you? I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah, just like a donut. Exactly. This has more of the true true scent than the other two. The donut. Okay. I picked up this paper pad. You get 36 pieces in it. So I got this. And I don't know if you could see it, but um, let me open it up. I wasn't going to just in case I give it away. But uh, if I do give it away, they can watch the video and see that I opened it up to show you all. But I just thought this was so pretty. This has the bumblebees on it with the flowers. Right? Then they got this one with balloons. For all you out there who do pocket letters, look at this with the dots. You know? And then this one here with all different kinds of shapes. And here's the one with ice cream and sprinkles. How cute. How cute are these? And then you get this one here. And you get 36 pieces in it. And this is by Jot. So you get six sheets of each design. And then one more thing that I'm going to show you guys is this. I picked up these. These are Sergeant R. Ten, this is a 10 brush set kit, they're calling it. But these look really, really nice for a dollar. And it says it conforms to all the, you know, non-toxic stuff there on the back. But you got like your thicker brushes. It goes all the way down to like the pointy ones. Look at that. There you can see it right there. But anyway. Yeah, I thought that was worth a dollar. Ten. 
and they look really, really good. They look really nice. Okay, so that's it for my Dollar Tree haul for today. Tomorrow I'll be drawing two names for the cookbooks. Yes, because that's what we're going to be cooking out when we do to try to cook, which we are. We're going to try to cook. I know a lot of you are great cooks out there. I happen to be not one of them. <laughs> so it ought to be interesting to say the least. Okay, so I hope, oh, the person that I gave the craft box to was Cheryl, Cheryl Mickley. It's uh, Sharon Charlie's Personal Crafts. She has a channel. Go check her out and you can see everything that she did a video and you can see everything that I put in that box to give to her so she'll keep crafting. I, I put some things in there to keep her... Um, uh, how do I want to say? I want to say, I want to see what she's going to do with it because she's very creative. So I want to see what she's going to do with these things. I was curious. So anyway, thank you again, everyone for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. And until next time, oh, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye.